Hey guys, it's Klaus. Look, it's me. It's me playing today. I'm playing that uh, that uh, that French TD, the CDA 105 thing, premium tank. And I'm playing in a stronghold tier 8 battle with the uh, Cameo clan. Shout out to you guys! And I'm playing this thing as much as I can in tier 8 strongholds. Uh, uh, why? Uh, because I'm training up a crew. I don't have French TDs, and I've got this premium tank, and I got a shit crew, so I'm getting the crew trained up. Well, why am I doing that? Is it really important to have a, a really good crew in a tank, and uh, does that really make a difference? Well, let me answer that question by asking you a question. All right. Uh, uh, do those Unicoms and community contributors and all those, you know, the big guys, uh, do they cheat? Are they cheaters? You know, the, the guys, the really good players that make the videos, uh, the big names, the big guys, you know, the fantastic players like Circumflexes and uh, Sir Fosh and uh, Quickie Baby, those fantastic players and, you know, guys like Jingles. Well, no, actually, he sucks. He doesn't cheat. But those other three guys, are they cheaters? Is that why they're that good? You know, I watch those guys because it's fun to watch, and you probably watch them too. And I, I was watching a video the other day, Circumflexes was driving some little light tank, you know, and he's playing the game, and uh, uh, he's driving around kind of full speed on the move, backing up, uh, twisting left and right, and he's shooting. Boom, you know, and he's shooting. Boom, and, uh, boom, and he's backing up on the move while he's backing up and traversing, shooting. Boom. And he lands, uh, uh, he takes nine shots and lands eight of them, right, in his, in his little tank, boom. And then he pulls around the corner full speed without stopping, without anything, he flicks the gun over and boom. Oh, that one missed. And he's, what, what? This gun, this gun. Oh, nice meme, nice meme. He misses one out of nine. And it's like, what's going on? Is the game broken? You know, and then you got Sir Fosh. He pokes over the ridge line backwards and uh, snap, boom, does 600 damage. Uh, I didn't really aim that shot, but it doesn't really matter. You know, aiming really just decreases your DPM. So how do they do it? How do they do it? I mean, these guys are fantastic, and uh, we watch them, and we sit in awe and observe. But, you know, then you go out and try it, and, and it doesn't work. Are they cheating? How do they hit all their shots? How, how, how come the enemies don't shoot them back? What's going on? Well, I'm going to try and explain it for you guys because someone has to explain it to the regular average SMO because we are not all quote-unquote unicoms, right? We're, most of us are just muddling through the game, two or three games a day, types taking 11 months to grind one line, feeling frustrated and inadequate in 85% of our games, struggling trying to watch YouTube videos to figure out how to get better. Well, someone has to sit down and explain it for the working regular guy, and I'm going to explain it for you. And basically, one, no, they're not cheating, and two, no, you will never be able to do what they do. Well, some of you will, some of the really dedicated players, but most of us, I'm talking about most of us, the average guys that just play for fun, occasionally grinding our tanks from stock, starting with regular crews, not a hope. So let me explain it. Uh, most of us can e at least equip our tanks, right? Uh, we could put things on like vents, which increase the crew skills 5%. We could put stuff on like vertical stabilizers, which makes the, the gun 20% more accurate when you're moving. Optics, which gives you 10% uh, further view range. Or gun rammer, which lets you uh, reload 10% faster. Some of us, but not all of us, can, uh, can get that stuff. But there's more. There's more. Let me go through some of the stuff. Brothers in Arms for your crew which takes like hundreds of games to get if you don't have a premium account. What is Brothers in Arms if all your crew members have Brothers in Arms? That's 10%. 10% better crew skills all around, plus a, a higher commander bonus because the commander is 10% better. That makes you guys do everything better, including your view range. Uh, what else is there? A concealment. Do all your crews, every single one of them, have 100% concealment? No? Well, you know what that does? If you roll out with a, a, a crew that does not have concealment and you're fighting a Unicom who's in the same tank and his crew, all of them have 100% concealment, his tank is twice as concealed as yours. If you have 10% camo, he's got 20. Uh, who's shooting me? I, I can't see who's shooting me. Do all your commanders have recon, a 2% boost in view range? Do all your radio operators have situational awareness? A 3% boost in view range? That's 
farther. You know what 5% of 400 is? 20. 20 meters, in case you didn't know. Do all your commanders have six cents? I got shot and I don't know why. I didn't know I was spotted. Well, they know that they're spotted. Are all your gunners trained up with snapshot? Uh, do you not have the 7.5% uh, better accuracy during turret rotation? That's too bad. Do your, uh, all your drivers have smooth ride so you are 4% more accurate on the move? No? Oh, that sucks. Let's watch another game here. I'm playing with the Relic Clan now. Look at these guys. Shout out to you guys! And does one of your crew members in every tank trained up with designated target? So you can see the enemy for two more seconds and they can see you? No? That comes in handy sometimes. What about safe storage? Uh, you don't have that? Well, I guess you're 12.5% uh, more likely to uh, explode from your ammo rack. And you don't have preventative maintenance, so uh, it's, it's just 25% more likely that you'll catch on fire! Well, there's other stuff too, right? That takes forever to grind those crews to get all those skills, but some stuff you can just buy with credits. For a measly 20,000 credits a game, you can run extra combat rations or pudding or Coca-Cola or, or what do the Swedes have? Uh, uh, coffee with cinnamon buns. And that gives you another 10% boost in your crew all round, uh, which is 5% additional view range. Uh, you remember what 5% of 400 is? Another 20 meters! Oh, you can't afford that? Uh, 20,000 credits is too much every game? You don't have a premium account? Well, that sucks. And there's, uh, there's more, there's more. Actually, all the stuff that I mentioned, uh, there's new stuff now. Uh, if you play tier 10 rank battles and you, you earn these bond things, you can get like new and improved vents that do, they don't do 5% additional uh, uh, crew skill, they do 7.5. Oh, you don't have any bonds? You don't have any tier 10 tanks? Do you have any bonds yet? Well, well, that sucks. Uh, I guess when you get yourself some tier 10 tanks and you earn 5,000 bonds, you can buy, uh, uh, you know, vents that are 50% better than everyone else's. You can get a gun rammer that rams faster. So these guys, these guys that are fantastic, you know, they've worked their way through the game. They've played all the tanks and now they're going back to three marks, some of the lower tier tanks, like say the Achilles, right? Uh, they're gonna go back and play the Achilles in three market and they're gonna put in their five skill crew and go do this. They're not gonna play any games with the stock tank. They're gonna retrain the crew with gold so that it's 100% five skills and roll out. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. In fact, it's a lot of fun to watch, but uh, uh, what I'm telling you is don't expect that you're going to be able to achieve the same level of unicomness. Uh, do you remember when you were uh, grinding the Achilles? Uh, when you were a noob, right? You probably thought that gun depression uh, meant that you were going to miss a lot of shots with your gun. You had an 80% crew there for the first 168 games. Uh, wh when you rolled out with the stock gun for the first 82 games before you could upgrade it, you couldn't wait to get out of that horrid piece of shit. And guess what? You played all your games and you hated it because it sucked. You finally got enough XP to get to the next tank. And you immediately bought the next tank and put that crew back in there, but you didn't have any gold. You couldn't retrain them. So they, you know, you just trained them up for silver and they were an 80% crew with no skills, no free XP to get any of the modules on the next tank. And, you know, just roll out stock, load some HE, camp at the back of the base and suck all over again. Isn't this fun? So you, you, you're frustrated and you feel inadequate. You go watch a Circumflexes video. You watch him play the Achilles and he just kicks ass. Well, you watch, you learn, you absorb, you learn map positioning and techniques. You watch that video five times and then you roll out in your Achilles. You have the same matchmaking. You're on the same side of the same map. You roll out and you go to the same bush. You hide in the same bush and you shoot the same enemy on the other team. And even though Circumflexes did the same thing in his video and uh, he hits the guy in ammo racks him and says, uh, oh, nice meme. But you do the exact same thing with your 82% crew with no concealment and no snapshot, not running consumables. And you see your shot land three feet in front of you into the dirt. Then a light bulb appears on your screen and your computer says to you, track hit. Commander's been hit. He's moving slowly. Ammo rack hit. We're lucky it didn't blow. You reverse slowly, dejected and frustrated like a loser. You sit there behind that bush. Oh, wh wh why didn't it work? It worked for them. You ponder, dejected, with your gun drooping down flaccidly in front of you. What's going on? Yes, you do have that gun depression, but it's the wrong kind. You ponder, you wonder, and then it hits you. It hits you. An arty shell! And you're stunned again! But don't be sad. Don't be sad. It's not all bad, really. Uh, look at the bright side. Your ammo rack was hit. 
but you're lucky. It didn't blow. You need to realize that you have no chance, all right? You have to understand that. You must accept it. You have no chance. It's a nice meme. You don't have the accessories and all the right extras, the right stuff. It's like this. Let me explain it a different way. It's like you're, you're driving and you pull up to a red light in your 1973 Pinto hatchback with vinyl interior. Pulled up alongside of a 2018 Porsche 911 Turbo all-wheel drive racing sport edition. A two-seater driven by Mario Andretti with Raquel Welch in the passenger seat. Who's in your passenger seat? Your dog that you're taking to the vet for a rectal cleaning. That little prick's been rubbing his ass on your carpets for two weeks and you're finally taking him to the vet. It's a good thing you have vinyl seats. The light is just about to turn green and from your peripheral vision, you notice that Raquel is glancing at you. She's giving you that twinkle in her eye, 10% smile look. And for a second there, your brain convinces you that you have a chance. You're on the same road, you're in the same game. Maybe she likes you, so you rev up that 64 horsepower engine. Vroom vroom! Maybe it's not the accessories. Maybe it's not all the extras. Maybe she actually likes you for you. You build up your courage and you're just ready to look over and give her that, hey baby, if you play your cards right, you could have all this look. But by the time you look over, she's gone. Vashoom! That Porsche, zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds. You didn't have a chance. You sit there in silence, contemplating your miserable failure. You're wondering, how could I get better? Can anyone help me? Please, someone in this community, just help me get better at this game. And what breaks the silence? What breaks the silence? You hear the horn behind you blaring, honk, honk, and the guy behind you, move, you useless fuck. The lights green, you asshole. Uninstall, quit your life, get good. What the fuck are you doing? Why do you even drive? You look over at your dog Sparky, rubbing his infected ass on the vinyl passenger seat of your 1973 Pinto, and you finally get it. You finally realize it. You finally thought it through. This is as good as it gets.